never for one minute imagined that we would end up with 121 horses, ponies and donkeys. Me and Rod, when we were in the UK, we were self-made business people. I became a furniture retailer. I never ever done one of these plans or forecasts or business things where you're meant to write it all down and work out if it's viable. I just done it. Rod was the same. He was a builder, his father was a stock man, worked for the farmer. I think they actually slept on a straw mattress. I guess we're kind of the sort of people that will do it, and when we do it, we do it 100%, which is what we've done with this. Of course, we never thought how many horses are we gonna end up with. It's something that's just happened over 10 years, bit by bit by bit. In this life, you live and you die. It's as simple as that. Now, if we have to plan and think about everything that we do in life, we're never going to do anything, are we? I've always sort of kind of thought, let's live it and see where we go with it. When we started this, everybody thought we were crazy. The police weren't interested. People thought, well, this is never going to work. It's just another couple of English, silly English coming over, you know, going to change the world. <laughs> I'll give them two years, maybe three, and they'll probably go back to England. Our long-term plan now is to be able to grow as a foundation to maybe have more rescue centres, to acquire more land, find ways to generate the money so we can actually help more.